Welcome back. The Parsi community in Delhi is struggling because of dwindling numbers. How is it really coping with this issue? Sonal Mehrotra visited the only Parsi temple in New Delhi on its 50th anniversary to know more. Take a look. At 91, she's the oldest member of the Delhi Parsi Anjuman. Mrs. Idalji normally stays at home but has chosen to venture out to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Delhi's only Parsi temple. For a community that's dwindling, the significance of the occasion wasn't lost on its members. It's about 500 permanent Parsis and say another 500 floating. And that's why it's essential that we get together at least once a year. The Parsis have been in Delhi for over 140 years, much before the British came and made uh, Delhi the capital, as they call it, the Darbar city. And uh, we have graves here which are over 136 years old. Special havens for part of the two-day celebrations. Plus, there were seminars. And to lighten the mood, a play was also organized. But what stood out was the presence of the non-Parsis, married to members of the community. A strict no-no elsewhere, but the Delhi Parsi Anjuman has welcomed them. However, the non-Parsis are not allowed inside the temple. Now 45% of the Delhi Parsis are intermarried. So they're not married within the community, they're married outside. And even they are very welcome in Delhi, I have to say. Originally immigrants from Iran, the Parsis have blended well with Delhi's composite culture. It's like when I come back from college and mom asks me, what do you want to eat? I'm actually, you know, I want Dhan Sak, but I want Rajma Chawal too. Known for their sense of humor and their love for food. The Parsis may be a community struggling to add to the twingling numbers, but they're not giving up just yet. The fire will go on. In New Delhi with camera person Gauri Prasad, Sonal Mehrotra, NDTV. Ahead of India's four test series versus Australia, Saurav Ganguly has made a scathing attack at former Indian coach Greg Chappell while taking a dig at Rahul Dravid at the same time. Chappell is said to have, be having a special session with the Australian team to demystify Sachin Tendulkar. Ganguly said whatever Chappell will do will not work and also called him mad. The Australian selector is also in Australian academy, so he has been released from there. So when he came to India, people were saying that it is an Australian mentality, it will not suit in Indian atmosphere. But when he came to Australia's environment, when he didn't get into his system, then he should know that there is no mistake, there is no mistake, there is no mistake, there is no problem. एक बार जो चीज करता है वो गलत हो सकता है और अगर सेम चीज दोबारा करे और उसके लिए भी फिर उनका नौकरी जाए तो आदमी मुझे पागल ही लगता है तो तो ऑब्वियसली मैं सरप्राइज नहीं हूँ और ये इंडिया के लिए अच्छा ही होगा मैं दो दिन से पेपर में पढ़ रहा हूँ कि वो ऑस्ट्रेलियन टीम के साथ जुड़े रहेंगे और इंडियन टीम के लिए खुशखबरी है राहुल द्राविड ऐसे इंसान है जो चाहते हैं कि सब चीज अच्छे हो उनको पता था कि ये चीजें गलत हो रहा है लेकिन उनमें वो दम नहीं था कि वो रिवोल्ट करके बोले कि नहीं आप गलत कर रहे हैं क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली एक डेढ़ साल पहले मेरे साथ जो हुआ जिम्बाब्वे में उसके बाद जो फ्यूरो हुआ है कोई भी कैप्टन जो कैप्टन बन के आएगा वो सोचेगा कि नहीं मैं शांति से क्रिकेट खेलूं जो सही चीज है इसी से आप कह सकते हो कि उनकी फोरसाइड उनकी थिंकिंग क्रिकेट ओरिएंटेड नहीं था कोई पर्सनल रीजन था कोई पर्सनल वेंडेटा था जो ऑब्वियसली इंडियन क्रिकेट के साथ काम किया नहीं है ग्रेक चैपल का दिमाग ही कुछ और तरीके से चलता था उनका उनका रूल था लाइफ में कि माय वे और दी हाईवे एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ दिस बुलेटिन दिस इज अनु जॉर्ज कांजन तोपल फॉर एन डी हिंदू एक मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड हार्मनी फॉर आर नेशन वंस अगेन एस आई टेक लीव द टाइम